If people don't want to be scammed, first of all, they have to get informed and they have to stop getting all their perceptions from the mainstream media. You know, because you, you look at the, what we might call the conservative or political right, what you might call the moderate political right, and you look at the, the woke mentality, and they may be at odds with each other, but overwhelmingly they're getting their information from the same mainstream sources. They're just seeing that information in a different way. Uh, when you um, step back from mainstream sources and you look at alternative sources where narratives are being questioned instead of parroted and repeated, then you can start to see how the dots connect. You see, it's not what is happening that is the point of revelatory understanding. It's why it's happening. It's context. Yes, this is happening. Okay. And if you react only on the basis of this is happening, then you can get sucked in and start behaving in ways that the authorities and the cult behind the authorities want you to act. But if you stop and you, you ask, why is this happening? Then you can start to get context. See, what's missing is context. You know, the mainstream media will tell you uh, that something's happening. They'll put their own spin on it, of course, but they'll tell you that something's happening. They won't tell you accurately, unbiasedly, why it's happening. So when I, uh, you know, I have this phrase, um, know the outcome and you'll see the journey. If you don't know where the world's being taken and who by and the techniques of manipulation that take us there, then the world is a random place. You, you look at a newspaper and you, you look at the news or whatever and lots of random things are happening. And it's very difficult, almost impossible, it is impossible, from that perspective of perceptual randomness to make sense of the world. Not going to do it. But when you know where the world's being taken, you know basically who's taking us there, why, and the techniques of manipulation to take us there, suddenly randomness disappears because what is random to most people becomes a very clear sequence of events that is taking us in a very obvious direction towards the outcome. So, like I say, fundamental to manipulating humanity to take this journey towards the global Orwellian state is to set the target population at war with itself. You, you know, during the, um, the, the, the lockdowns, you, you've had this big conflict going on between people who say, you know, we should be allowed to go out and other people say, oh, you can't go out, you're killing people. And then right on the back of that, we have this division on the grounds of race. And, you know, I keep coming back to this, but it's, it's absolutely vital in my view. We are different points of attention within a infinite stream of consciousness. That's who we are. You are an expression of the same stream of consciousness that I'm an expression of. You um, are looking at life and reality from a, a slightly different angle, uh, uh, and others will be looking at life from a very different angle, but they are the same consciousness. And we are experiencing a almost infinitesimally small, short experience in what is called a human. So what is a human? A human is a way of processing information. So the human body, the human brain, the human genetic system processes information in a certain way, and we call that human. And when we reach that point that we call death, the consciousness that's experiencing that and, and having these series of experiences we call human, then withdraws from the body, I call it biological computer, which processes information in a certain way. And that's why um, near-death experiences in there now millions describe that when they leave the body, when the body dies, reality is completely different to what it is as a human. Because what the body does is focus our attention in a band of frequency, and that band of frequency is absolutely tiny. According to mainstream science, the electromagnetic spectrum is 0.005% of what exists in the universe. Some say it's a bit more, but not much. 
And visible light, which is the only band of frequency that we can perceive as a reality, is a smear of the 0.005%. Um, and this is the body focus and the brain focusing our attention on this particular band of frequency. And in that period, which is ridiculously short, we have an experience by that information processing called being human. Now, if, imagine this, people realized that they are infinite eternal expressions of consciousness having a brief experience called human with a series of labels given to different humans like white and black and asian and transgender and gay and straight and all these labels what are those labels they are experiences that's all they are brief experiences when we leave the body these massive number of people now have reported these near-death experiences. When they leave the body, they're not, they're not still Bill driving a bus. They're not Ethel on the checkout. Their expansive consciousness, which as they describe, they can experience past, present, future, all in the same moment, and, and they, un they undergo this massive expansion of consciousness. Why? Because they've left the body which is focusing the attention of that consciousness within this narrow band of frequency. Now if you knew that's what we were, that we're all one, that we're all expressions of each other, we're just different perceptual states of the same consciousness, having brief experiences with these labels. Try dividing and ruling that. Very, very difficult. And if there's a few of you and you want to control the many, you have to divide and rule the many and set them at war with each other, otherwise the few can't control the many. You have to get the many to acquiesce to you, otherwise the few can't control the many. And so what they've had to do is get humanity to self-identify the I with the labels. So you say to someone, uh, who are you? They might say, I'm a, a white man from Barnsley who uh, used to work in the mines. No, that's what you have experienced. That's not you. You are the consciousness that had the experience. Someone might say, um, you know, I'm, I'm a black guy from the southern states of America and um, I do this, I do that, and this is my background, this is my life story, this is what I do, this is my job. No, no, that's what you're experiencing. You, the I, the eternal I, the true I, are the consciousness having that experience which will move on when that experience is over. Nightmare for divide and rulers. So what you have to do, you have to get them to self-identify with the label. And once you've got someone saying, um, I am black, I am white, I am transgender, I am gay. There's nothing wrong with saying those things. As long as we understand that they are not the I, they are the experience. But if you take those labels to be the I, what you are, now you have infinite potential for playing the labels off against each other. And what they've been doing systematically is manipulating people into smaller and smaller minutiae of self-identity. So now we have this long list of letters, LGBT, blah, 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 to describe the fine detail of a minutiae of self-identity. And this has created more and more potential for divide and rule. So now we have feminist activists at war with transgender activists. And so as, as, as the, the sense of the I becomes more and more subdivided and subdivided and subdivided, um, the potential for divide and rule and setting the, um, the target population at war with itself becomes infinite. I mean, it, it's only limited by the number of labels you can come up with. And my goodness me, they seem, that, that, that list of letters seems to get longer all the time. So when we reach the point where saying all lives matter is considered racist. You know you're in a crazy place. But again, let's come back to the cult, its agenda, its methods of operation. What does all lives matter say? It says we are one.
everyone is equally valid. No matter what the color of your skin, no matter what the nature of your religion, no matter what the nature of your sexuality, we are all different expressions of the same whole. What is that doing? It's bringing people together. Unity. What is the worst nightmare of a global cult seeking to impose its will on humanity? Unity, harmony, coming together.